Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Kindly subscribe my channel and like each and every video so that uh, YouTube can help me and promote my channel. Now I am going to solve this particular problem 476. In this problem it is said that the device shown is used to straighten board decking boards just prior to final nailing to the joists. There is a lower bracket not shown at O which fixes the part OE to a joist so that the point A may be considered fixed. Right, so we have this device and this has some functioning, right. So before nailing this, uh, this decking boards, uh, what we need to do is that we need to fix it and then uh, using this device and then we uh, nail it, right. So it is said that for a given force P, we have force P here exerted perpendicular to the handle ABC. It is said that determine the corresponding normal force N applied to the bent board near B, right. So we have to find the normal force which is applied by this bent board on this uh, ABC arm at this point B, right. So now as we can see that here we are given that uh, the surface, this surface is making 2 degrees with the horizontal, right. So this means that uh, this surface, the surface of this board is not uh, exactly horizontal right it is making some angle right so if this surface is making 2 degrees with the horizontal this means that this surface is also making 2 degrees with the horizontal right so if i if i draw a horizontal line here let me draw a line which is horizontal right we have one line like this and we have uh, one another line which is horizontal right so so if if i can show it to you people right so these two lines uh, these two lines are making two degree angle with each other right so this means that this uh, upper edge of this board is making two degrees with the horizontal right so this means that if the n the normal force is perpendicular to the surface of this part right so then we can draw the normal force like this so this will be the normal force which will be perpendicular to this surface right the surface of this uh, of this board right so let me draw that perpendicular so that perpendicular will be somewhat like this right it will be perpendicular to this uh, line which is making two degrees with the horizontal right if i draw the magnified uh, view of the two degree let's say that we have this horizontal line and we have this drawing board edge which is making two degrees with the horizontal right and let's say that somewhere here is that point B right so that normal force is perpendicular with this line right which is the edge of this board right so this is that uh, normal force which is perpendicular with this edge right this is perpendicular with this edge right so now if I draw a vertical line, let me draw a vertical line like this. So this means that if this normal force is, uh, if this normal force is perpendicular to this line and this, this vertical line is perpendicular with this line. So this means that this normal force is uh, making two degrees with, uh, with this vertical line, right. So this this normal force is making 2 degrees with the vertical right we can write we can say that this normal is making 2 degrees with the vertical right similarly if i draw this abc if i represent that abc as a line right let me draw a line right and let me place it here right at point b right so this this line represent let's say that this is that point a and let's say this is that point b and let's say this is that point c right so this line represent that a b c part of this device right that a b c member of this device and that p force is uh, perpendicular to this a b c at point c right this is that p force and it is given that uh, this a b c arm is making 15 degrees this ABC part is making 15 degrees with the vertical right so this means that this angle is 15 degrees right so if this angle is 15 degrees then the normal force is making 17 degrees with this ABC right this ABC handle so now we can visualize it if I draw the normal force here 
right let's say that this is our normal force right so this normal force is making uh, 50 uh, 15 plus 2 degrees so 17 degrees right so i can write that here we have 17 degrees angle uh, and this is that normal right so now if i resolve this normal force into its components so it will have one component here like this and it will have one component which will be acting like this right so this component is the cos component and this one is the sine component let me write that this is n sine of 17 degrees right and similarly this is that p force and let's say this is that point a this, here we have that point b and here this is that point c right and this is the free body diagram of a b c handle right so now if if i apply the summation of moment about point a equals to zero right here we have uh, two reaction forces as well let's say this is a x and let's say we have a y but if we apply the summation of moment about point A, so AX and AY will not come into equation, right? They Since they are passing through that point A, so they will not produce the moment about that point A. So now if counterclockwise moment is positive, so now as we can see that this P force is producing uh, the counterclockwise moment about that point A, so I will write P and the perpendicular distance of this P force from that point A is this much, this is 500 plus 175, right? So I will write uh, 675 mm right similarly as we can see that this component of n is passing to that point a so it will not produce the moment about that point a so only this sine component is producing the moment about that point a and it is producing the clockwise moment about that point a so i will write minus n sine of 17 degrees and the perpendicular distance of this n sine of 17 degrees from that point a is how much so this is 175 so i will multiply this with 175 and this will be equal to zero right so we can write this n in terms of p right since p magnitude is not given so we can write that n is equal to p into 675 divided by 175 sine of 17 degrees so when we solve this so n the normal force at point b equals to 13.19 p right so we were required to find that normal force which will be applied to that point b due to this force p which is perpendicular to this abc handle right so i hope you people would have understood this problem solution kindly uh, like my videos so that youtube can promote my channel